Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial where we'll be going through some further questions on similar shapes. So let's have a look at the first one. So here we've been given this diagram and we've been asked to calculate the length of Y. So I'll give you a few seconds to pause the video to have a go yourself and when you come back we'll have a look at the solution. Welcome back guys, hope you had a decent attempt at the question. Let's have a look at the solution. So here we've been given a shape and different measurements and we've been asked to calculate the value of Y. Now you should be able to notice that there is a smaller triangle within the larger triangle. So if we're able to determine that these two triangles are similar, then we may be able to find the value of Y by using scale factors. Now notice that here we have two parallel lines and this means that these two angles are equal because they are known as corresponding angles and the same for these two angles, they're equal. Now in the previous tutorial we discussed that sometimes drawing the shapes again and separating them can be very useful to help you see the similarity of the shapes more clearly. So here we have the smaller triangle that's within the larger triangle. And here we have the larger triangle where we get this side by adding 3.6 to 2.4, which gives us six. And we get this side by adding 4.4 to Y to give us 4.4 plus Y. Now, by looking at these two shapes separately, we can see that the corresponding angles are equal and therefore these are indeed similar shapes. So now we know that the shapes are similar the two corresponding or similar sides that we should be using to find the scale factor are these sides. So to find the scale factor of lengths, we do six divided by 2.4 to get that the scale factor is equal to 2.5. Now, since these two sides are similar, it means that in order to get from the smaller side to the larger side, we need to multiply 4.4 by the scale factor we've just found of 2.5, therefore, 4.4 multiplied by 2.5 is equal to 4.4 plus y, which is the length of this side. Now this is a calculator question, so you could use your calculator to find that 4.4 multiplied by 2.5 is equal to 11. And so therefore 11 is equal to 4.4 plus y. And so subtracting 4.4 from both sides, we get that the value of y is equal to 6.6 .6 units. Okay, so I hope you all got that. Let's have a go at the next past paper question. The two triangles in the diagram are similar. Work out two possible values of X. State any assumptions you have made. So I'm gonna give you a few seconds to pause the video to have a go at this question. And when you come back, we'll have a look at the solution. Welcome back guys and I hope you had a decent attempt to that question. Let's have a look at the solution. So in this question we've been told that two triangles are similar and this time we've been asked to work out two possible values of x. Now this time we've been given the fact that the shapes are similar which means that we know we can find a scale factor that can scale the lengths of one side to get another similar side. However the problem in this question is that we can't say for sure which sides are similar. Now it's a very subtle detail, but what helped us to determine which sides were similar in the previous question were these parallel lines. The parallel lines allowed us to see which angles were corresponding, which then helped us to see which sides were similar. However, in this question, other than the fact that we're told that the shapes are similar, the diagram gives us no more information about the angles inside of each of the shapes. And since the diagram's not been drawn to scale, there's no point in measuring these angles with a protractor. So the first thing we're going to do in this question is draw out both of the triangles separately to make it clearer for us to see. This is of course the larger triangle 
where the line AC is 8 plus X centimeters and the line AD is 12 plus 3 which is equal to 15 centimeters and this here is the smaller triangle ABE. So given this diagram the first assumption that we can make is that the side AE is similar to AD which means that AE multiplied by some scale factor is equal to AD. Now working with this assumption we can find the scale factor of lengths by dividing 15 by 12 to get that the scale factor is equal to 5 over 4 which we'll leave as a fraction as this is a non-calculator question. So as we've assumed that AE is similar to AD, well this implies that AB is similar to AC. And so that means that if we multiply 8 by the scale factor of 5 over 4, we should get the length of the line AC. And so we can form an equation as follows. 8 multiplied by 5 over 4, which is a scale factor, is equal to 8 plus x. And so working out the left hand side, we get 8 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 40, divided by 4 is equal to 10. And so therefore, 10 is equal to 8 plus x. And if we subtract 2 from both sides, we get that x is equal to 2 centimeters. Okay. So by using this assumption, we were able to find a possible value of x by assuming that the side AE was similar to the side AD. But since we don't know the angle at A, it's perfectly possible for us to switch these sides around and then assume that the side AB is similar to AD. So let's change the smaller triangle in the diagram by switching around the sides so that now we can compare the other side AB with AD. And so now our second assumption is that if we multiply AB by some other scale factor, we get AD. So using this assumption, we can get the scale factor by dividing 15 by 8, which we'll leave as a fraction. And now assuming that AE is similar to AC, we can form an equation using the scale factor that 12 which is the length of AE multiplied by the scale factor is equal to 8 plus X, which is the length of AC. We can simplify the left hand side by taking out a common factor of 4 to get 3 multiplied by 15 over 2. And so 3 multiplied by 15 gives us 45 divided by 2. So we get the following equation 45 over 2 is equal to 8 plus x and 45 over 2 or half of 45 is 22.5 and therefore 22.5 is equal to 8 plus x so if we subtract 8 from both sides we get that x is equal to 14.5 centimeters okay so the key thing to take home from this question is that if the diagram isn't drawn to scale and you can't say anything about the angles inside the shapes you're comparing, then you can't say for sure whether one side in particular is similar to another side. So I hope you took something from these questions. Thanks for joining us and keep up the good work and I will see you in the next tutorial. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.